The close-knit community in Arlington demanding change from county leaders after a woman in her 80s was hit by a car and killed. This happened while she was walking along Little Falls Road today. 7 News on your side's Christian Flores went to the scene tonight and spoke with neighbors who say this is just the latest tragedy on a dangerous stretch of road for pedestrians. It's crushing. Heartbreak and fear. You can't trust people to, you know, see you. Neighbors who frequently walk near Yorktown High School and Nottingham Elementary are going through the wave of emotions after 85-year-old Gwendolyn Hayes was hit and killed by a car. That has prompted neighbors to take more safety measures of their own. Before I started to cry, I sent the text to one of my daughters who just moved up to Williamsburg Boulevard because her son just started kindergarten at Nottingham. And she just told me this week, Mom, when you're walking him to school, you be sure to always just stop. The cars never stop. We walk a lot, and we've become much more vigilant when we walk about making sure we're watching where, you know, where the cars are, and we even wear little, normally in the evening, reflecting vests. This morning's incident is not the first time a pedestrian has been hit and killed by a car over here on Little Falls Road. In fact, this is at least the third time since 2014 such an incident has happened. And right now, pedestrians and neighbors living out here are asking Arlington County to step up and do something so these crosswalks are safer and drivers may slow down or even stop. The four-way stop because there's a school right there. That would be another reason to slow people down. I think the four-way stop's a great idea. And this is not the first time a pedestrian has been killed here in 2014. Jennifer Lawson was putting one of her three children in a car seat when she was hit and killed by a dump truck. Then in 2019, a woman was hit by a car while she was walking her dogs in one of the crosswalks here. There are no stoplights on this stretch of road, but there is a marker to stop for pedestrians. Neighbors say that's not enough. Obviously, they've had three deaths here in just the past few years. Something is going wrong, so the county should maybe pay attention to it and figure out what the problem is and try to fix it. I just I just can't fathom how people can be in a crosswalk and be hit. In Arlington, Christian Flores, 7 News. Well, tonight we reached out to Arlington County for answers on what they've been doing to improve safety for pedestrians in that area, especially after those two previous deadly crashes. They tell us they reduced the speed limit to 25 miles an hour and tacked on an additional $200 fine for speeding tickets. But as part of Vision Zero, they say they are always reviewing possible safety measures, especially after crashes like the one today.